There's probably 50 different ways we can finish the stone and each one is going to reinvent the aesthetic and the look of the stone. It's a material we can polish, it can be honed, it can have a texture, we can do a slip resistant finish, it can be chiseled, it can be split face, bush hammered. We literally will have clients that come in and we create the finish that they want through samples and experimenting. So this one is alternating directions. In Israel, in the old days, similar finishes were done with this, like this by hand. We can do this on the machine now, where we can create that finish. This one here is what we call a rake chisel and it's done by hand. If we have, you know, 10 different mechanics chiseling by hand, we're gonna have 10 different fingerprints. The aesthetic you get when it's done by hand, each stone has an individuality. This one is what they call point chisel. So this is one chisel with one point. It's a traditional finish in Israel. You're gonna see this all over Jerusalem, all over Israel, all done by hand. This here is a split face finish, which is also chiseled, and it gives you this bellied effect. You cannot do this with a machine. Nobody has come up with a machine that can do this. This gives you a belly, and it also splits and it shows the natural characteristics and the natural strata of the stone. You can see this in many, many buildings in New York City, Washington DC, many, many synagogues throughout America. We've done all of these finishes. Traditionally, people think, okay, it's the stone sealed. You seal it after install, but you're sealing from the top. The top is really not the key. The key is the bottom, because a lot of times if you see cloudiness and effervescence, they call it, it's coming from the bottom. So if there's moisture in the setting material or moisture coming through the pool deck, it's wicking its way through the stone. It comes to the top and it evaporates. When it evaporates, what's left is that cloud, that haze, that sometimes you see on jobs. The solution we have come up with on that is we pre-seal the stone at the factory. It goes through the line, it's cut, it's honed, and it gets submerged. We call it a six-point sealer. It gets submerged in a bath of sealer. It comes out, it dries, we wipe it down into the crate. Now we're taking the, the limestone out of the crate on the job site. It's sealed on all sides, it's called a six-point seal. That is going to prevent wicking from underneath, from moisture or minerals in the setting material. It's going to be getting a secondary seal after we install it. We're going to seal it so it's getting sealed twice from the top. But having that side and bottom sealer from the factory is a game changer for the lighter limestones. And that's where we're doing the pre-seal, which makes a huge difference.